Hi guys, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy's Diaries. We're still at the Soweto Theatre and today we've got the brand manager for the reason why we're here. It is the entrepreneur... Uh, entrepreneur? Entrepreneur? Yeah, entrepreneur brought to you by Amstel. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now, we below, welcome to the show and please introduce yourself and tell us why we're here today. Yeah, so I am Buipelo, I am the senior brand manager on the Amstel brand and we're here to celebrate 12 successful businesses that are pushing um, and, a, and a program that just started this year but that's got lots of potential um, and we're also here to celebrate the top four that have won today. That's amazing. So tell me, what brought on this um, campaign? Out of all the campaigns you could have done, some have been so overdone. What brought on this creative idea to have such a campaign? So as Amstel, we have a narrative that challenges the notion of success, right? So we're really about progress and that it's a journey and that it's not a destination. So we really wanted to, let me start by saying we celebrate progress, right? But rather than just celebrating progress, we want to enable it, walk the talk rather than just talking it. So way better to start than um, the township economy and really finding those small businesses that are big and like in terms of their actions and making a difference in terms of themselves and the economies. So that's that's how we, we, we really thought like let's let's do this thing. Um, today or, or this this first six months was like a it's a, it's a trial run. Yeah. It's the first time we're doing it but it's worked really, really well and it's something we wanna keep driving in the future. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that you guys are definitely gonna spread this out throughout South Africa because it's a really great initiative. So tell us like give us a breakdown on how the program ran from the selection process down to us being here today? Cool. So we partnered with four community radio stations. Um, we allowed listeners to nominate businesses. So you could either nominate yourself if you're a businessman or you could um, nominate a business that's making a difference in your township. Okay. So we got over 8,000 entries. Um, then we put together a panel of judges um, and mentors that really like filtered through that and found the top 40. Then we actually went to go visit those 40 businesses to make sure that they're legit, they've got longevity and they're like serious. And we broke that down to a top 20 that we put on air for like a Dragon's Den type interview. Yeah. And, and, and from there, then we let the listeners pick their top 12. And once the listeners picked their top 12, um, we gave all of them 50,000 Rand, but not just like, here's 50,000 Rand, do your thing, right? So here's 50,000 Rand, but here's a mentor that's going to help you. And each mentor only had three people to look after. Okay. So it was like tailored attention. Yeah. Then over and above that, we got a media agency to help them with media buying, creative agency to help them develop the creative. So they had a whole ecosystem that can help them thrive. Okay. Um, and then we also monitored their performance prior to the support. Okay. And then we monitored those months we were supporting them. And then we took scores in terms of who's improved the most, who's more creative, and that kind of thing. And um, I didn't pick who the top four was, so I just want to put it out there. So then um, our four mentors and Gigi, who's running the program, those are the five judges. Independently, they voted, um, gave each guy their scores, and then today we found out who won. Audited and, yeah. That's amazing. So what was your criteria for choosing the judges? Because, I mean, there's a, there's a large spread of entrepreneurs outside in South Africa. What was the criteria that you guys used to use um, to get the mentees, mentors? rather? So our thing was we wanted a diverse group that can help with different aspects, right? So firstly, this is about entre entrepreneurship. So you need guys that, can, that are entrepreneurs, right? People that are self-starters, that have done the thing for themselves. So you've got the likes of um, Sugar Smacks who... Yes, he was a musician, but now he's got a production company, he's got a lot of businesses running, but he's also a marketer, he's got a, 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 a creative agency and, and so forth. But at the same time, we're helping the guys with marketing. So we needed to get guys like Kaya Tlanga, who's a marketing expert, expert. He was a marketing director for various companies, he's been a marketing manager. So he understands what he's doing and he can give the kind, right kind of guidance. Um, but you also want to be able to partner them with people that understand the story from the beginning. People that like... They, they, they didn't just decide to do business, they were doing other things. So I think like, for example, DJ Zintle like went into DJing and so forth, but through a progress journey, she opened up other aspects of like herself. Yeah. She's not just a celebrity, she's not just a DJ, she's a, a successful businesswoman that can really like give them advice of how to take it from the bottom and take it up. Yeah. Um, so it was just about getting a nice balance of people that have walked the journey, but people that can also help you with marketing. Yeah. 
Because I was actually about to ask, then how did you guys do the pairing process to say, okay, that guy belongs with this person? How was the, that pairing process? Or did the men mentors get to pick for themselves? So we, we first had a meet and greet, right? Um, and then we let them get to know each other, let them, get, let, let them vibe. And then from that point, we, been, we could kind of see who's kind of working with who. Um, then we started matching them up kind of thing. Uh, but it, it was intentional, but at the same time, we let like, chemistry work itself out, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So you did mention this was obviously a trial process. Does this mean officially? Are you officially saying this is something that's going to happen again in the future? 100%. Um, we're currently working on learnings. The thing about when you do something for the first time is you're never going to do it right. And, and I think I was previously asked, like, what's the one thing you would change or what's the one biggest learning is we're trying to do this thing thorough, but we did it through a quite a, we need more time, right? So our learning was like, we want to help more people, but we want to make it an always on program. So we will launch the next iteration, the beginning of next year, um, but also make it like always on rather than trying to squeeze it into six months. I think we were very fair, very authentic. We didn't even, we allowed the mentors to mentor and to select. Um, but how do we find more people and help them along the way kind of thing? Yeah. That's been very inspirational. I think the rest of our viewers will be very happy to know that you guys are actually taking in initiative in growing this country and basically implement or actually taking part in, um, what's this, in, in the economy, you know, not just being bystanders and saying, oh, the country is going to nothing, but rather taking a stand as South Africans and saying, look, this is our country and we're going to take care of it. 100%. And, and, and and that's the biggest thing about this, right, is we did not find startups. These guys are not startups. These guys are professionals that know what they are doing, but they are businesses that are doing well, but just need that extra boost, right? So the township economy is strong. There's a lot of business, small businesses in this country that are, are thriving, but like they are limited in terms of resources. Yeah. So we're jumping onto a wave. The train is already moving. Yeah. So they just need that extra that push. push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like... At the end of this, it's not going to be like Amstel made these guys. These guys were going to make it one way or another. Mm, I love um, that. But we're just joining them on their journey of progress. Yeah. Yeah. Documenting their journey, right? Just reminding them, guys, this is where you were and this is where we're going. Wipilo, thank you so much. It's been amazing. Thank you to Amstel. It's been a great journey with all the entrepreneurs. We're still out here at Soweto Theatre. And this is Mandy from Mandy's Diaries. So, cheerio.